Hello, and welcome to Fabric. This is a game by Torang Labs, I think they're called. And that's about what I know about the game. It's a, uh, a first-person puzzle platformer, and if you watched anything on my channel, you would know that I always love first-person puzzle platformers. They're like the most casually approachable genre for me. I can just hop into any old first-person platformer and feel pretty comfortable. So, I wanted to check out this one. Beyond that, I really don't know any of the mechanics. I think there's some kind of gimmick here, but I, I think I watched the trailer at some point, but that was so long ago that I, I can't remember anymore. So, we're just gonna jump into it and check it out. I mean, first person, platforming, puzzles, what more do you need? Let's give it a shot, let's try it out, and let's check the options. This is a very neat menu. So new game, continue, level select, options, and quit. Kind of a weird system, but options, not a lot here. Not a lot at all. Master and music, you can't even like... So if I, yeah, if I pull that down, you can't have the music be louder than the master volume, which is a bit odd. Like, what if I just want to lower the sound effects? I can't do that. Kind of a shitty system. I think at least having an SFX slider would be nice here, but I don't know. We'll see if the audio balance is just really good from the get-go. Who knows? Resolution options, language options. Is that Turkish and Russian? I don't even know, but English it is for me. And then anti-aliasing, and that's it. Those are your options. But we actually do have more options once we jump in. So let's do that. I skipped the intro last time, so we'll watch the intro and read it out and stuff like that. So, without further ado, let's go. Log entry number one. I will keep it short. That was the point I had begun to travel manually. Awaiting user input to proceed. Oh. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. So I did not skip the intro. I pressed a button and it skipped to that, like, ending, and I thought it just had, like, skipped everything and didn't show it. But no, apparently that's, that's the intro. Okay, awaiting user input, and here we are. And then, as I said, in, in game, there's another, uh, set of options. You have this again, you have field of view, which was, like, here at the start. I just raised it a little bit. There's bloom, right here. We can, like, increase it. Apparently there's an achievement for playing the game with Max Bloom. A bit odd, but I don't know. I think having some Bloom is nice, so we'll just go about half. Why not? Maybe even a little bit less. Should be fine. I don't know what Generate Worms means. I don't know what Bend or Unbend means, and you can't rebind the controls. A bit of a shame, but I guess the controls are very simple. Map on M, and then you jump with space, and that's it. Simple controls. The sensitivity was a bit weird. I think it was like half to begin with. No, it was not half. Maybe it was like here. It was something like that, where I... Yeah, no, this is not right. When I first started in, the sensitivity was kind of alright, and I could spin about two and a half uh, revolutions across my mouse mat, and then I pulled it way down, all the way down, and I can still spin about two. That was almost not even quite my full mouse, mouse pad, so still a bit too high for my liking, but this is fine. It's just a bit of a weird system, and then you have like... Because, again, it was like here by default, and that much just lowers your sensitivity by a half a revolution or something, and then you can set it to max and you just spin around forever. I don't know. Again. Odd. I don't quite like that. But we'll survive, I think. Beyond that, game seems to run really well. I mean, right now I have like 240 FPS. Great. There's no, like, V-Sync options and no frame cap or anything like that. Again, audio or, uh, not audio, visual options are quite limited. Would be nice to have a bit more, you just have AA and then Bloom and Field of View in the game. But, as long as it runs fine, I guess I'm fine. Also, that's like, 
pretty aliased, even though I have maximum anti-aliasing. I don't know. We'll just get into it. Okay, so you can jump single blocks. You can't jump more than that. I assume you cannot. I feel like I'm very short. I guess maybe because anything that's blocky, you think of Minecraft. And if you compare this to, like, the height, you're kind of tiny. But this is an entirely different game, so I guess perspective is different. It really feels like I'm jumping up really tall cubes here. Oh, and you can... Oh, you can fit in a gap of one cube. I really feel like I'm playing a midget. What the hell? Alright. Well, gotta try this. And the music just stops. Okay, and we're back. No achievement or anything for that. We just get teleported back to what I assume is our latest checkpoint. Something like that. Okay. Nothing else down here. Oh. So that was... Oh. Wait, did that part just come closer or did we move closer? I don't know. It's a bit hard to tell. And you really don't have much uh, aerial momentum. Like if I jump here... I, I guess you kind of do. It felt like... You just kind of stop dead in your tracks. Eh, maybe I'm wrong. No, I guess that was just one jump that felt a bit weird. Alright. Let's keep moving. No, I guess it just, like, added on to the place we were, we were at. Maybe that's gonna be a mechanic where you have to, like, find these gates to link up parts of the level. Who knows? Yeah, that was... Hmm. Oh, that might be it. If... Hold on, log entry number two. Space-time started to feel unusual. Somehow I knew this adventure would proceed in a different manner. Awaiting user input. Okay, so it's a very... very, uh, bite-sized story. Again, I don't know anything about the story. Oh, okay, yeah, performance is a little bit worse here. It's like 80 FPS. Well, as long as it's above 60 and no major drops or stuttering, I guess I'm fine. I can always lower the uh, anti-aliasing. Or does Bloom affect the uh, the frame rate? Not really. Yeah, not really. I do want to have some Bloom, but yeah, we don't need too much. Uh, what was I talking about? Is that coming towards me or am I going towards it? That's very confusing, like the perspective. I can't tell. Oh, close behind me. Wait, I wonder... Oh, and if I restart now, it's gonna be right here. Right? It's not. Okay, because I want to test something. What if I walk in here... Come on! Oh, it's over here. Ah, yeah, I won't have time to get out, probably. Let's try it. Ah, I think there's an invisible wall. Alright, fair enough. Oh! Oh! Gun! Right! There's a gun in this! I, I actually forgot. I can't shoot it, though. I guess you have to have, like... Special points, like these. Ah, yeah, exactly. Ah, so when I shoot this, it'll activate something. What is that? Is that, like, gravity? Can I jump into it? Oh, no, I cannot. Not like that. Maybe it expired. Huh. Well, now we get to try this one more time. Yep, definitely an invisible wall. Too bad. And if I right-click, nothing happens. If I left-click and then right-click, nothing happens. Oh! Wait, unbend. I can't. I thought you could unbend by right-clicking. Doesn't it say that? 
unbend right mouse button. Huh. Oh, so it's like you link it up? So I had to shoot, I couldn't just shoot the, the further one, you had to shoot the first one and then this one to link them, or bend them together, or something. Maybe. But yeah, I think what I, right, that's what I was gonna say, I think what I'm feeling about the whole aerial momentum thing is that if you jump and then let go of the button, you just completely stop, like, dead in your tracks in, in the air, and that feels a little bit odd. And then if you want to, like, continue, you have to press forward again and accelerate like normal. So, I don't know, a little bit of a weird physics system, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. I wonder how much... Log entry number three. Marking fold points bends the space-time to my will, but which ones, I wondered, and from where? Wait, huh? Awaiting user inputs. I don't know how much twitch shooting there's gonna be in this. Like, are we gonna have to do some jumping, like, flicking shots and linking stuff up? Yeah, so again, we have to link this up, and if I just shoot over here, nothing. If I shoot there again, it unlinks it. I see. And then I can just wait, and that does nothing. So maybe that shows, like, the possible connections. Maybe we'll have red blocks that can connect to multiple things, and you'll have to shoot and then see all the different lines, and then trace them to see what you can link up, and stuff like that. Maybe. So far, pretty neat mechanic, and still can't unbend them. I'm assuming that's gonna be a mechanic. Aha! What's this about now? Oh. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, God. I almost fell down. Oh, I see. I can't link any of the other ones because they're not aligned. I was thinking they would align like this way, but no, it's... These two are the only ones that actually can link up, and you can even mouse over and see that. I see. Okay. Makes sense. What are you? Is that like... Oh no, never mind. I thought that might have been like a previous level. Huh. Not sure if there are any hidden secrets or anything like that. Question mark. Huh? Do I have to... Oh, I have to link it and then find a point where I can see. Ah, I see! Cool. Okay, so it's, like, perspective-based as well. You can't just, like, stand by one and link it up to whatever you want to link up to. You have to find the vantage point where you can link them up. Log entry number four. I was about to learn what in-between really meant. Okay, guess I'll... I'll learn that. Some funky music. Almost sounds like the beginning of a Hotline Miami track. Okay, not anymore. Maybe that's not even the music, maybe that's just like... the sound effect or... something for the gun? I think it's music. Yeah, once again, pretty simple. Oh! Huh? Do I have to get off? Is it like you can't be... No? Huh. Is it unbend? Do I right-click? Unbend. Do I have to... Oh! You can't stand within... Wait. Huh. Ah! If I mouse over, it shows me a red border saying, like, I can't stand here. 
and link it up. Because if I do, I'm in the invalid zone. This is like what's gonna be compressed, I think. So we have to hit this one and then back out of the zone and then link it up. Okay, I see. That's a good way of teaching that. Good like tutorial. Uh, and here we can link up those, I see. I can jump up here if I want to. Can I link it all the way from here? I saw it move. Oh, but I'm in the like invalid area. Yeah, I think I have to be like right here. Everything else is gonna get cut off, so that doesn't work. Interesting. Well, let's do that, and I... Oh, no, wait. I guess we unlink that, link this first, and then we can see... I guess I'll just shoot it once. Yeah, now I can see where the area is, like, going to be cut off. So then we just back off over here, and now we link it up. Huh. And again, here, I can't just link it like this, because then I'm inside the wrong area. So we have to either... Jump up here, which I can do. That seems like a dead end, or like, if I jump down there, I'm just fucked. Oh, and what's this about? Is that just like from a previous linking? But yeah, I could stand up there and link them up, or I can walk over here and stand here, in which case I'll be behind it. Oh, right. Wrong one. So like that. And then we link up. Huh. Alright. I'm interested so far. This is pretty cool. Log entry number five. No universe can survive without opposites. Light and darkness. Life and death. Bending and unbending. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we're progressing at a pretty rapid rate. So once again, step behind it. Ah, now we can unbend. Oh, it's gonna teach us that, like, right over here. Okay, so I, I didn't miss anything. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and it just unbends wherever you look. Hold on, let's do that and this. So even if I look up here, you can only have one, like, bending at once? No, that's not true. How does that work if you have multiple red things? Huh, guess we'll find out. I'm sure it'll be... become more advanced. Number six. Like the universe itself, fold points know no boundaries. Space-time can be bent from anywhere. As long as it's bent on a straight line. Awaiting user input to proceed. Okay. So here we have one of these. And now it, like, cut off a section here. So we go over here and then we unbend it. Oh, wait. Ah! So this one can be bent in multiple ways, but can I bend it like... Could I... No. Yeah, you can still bend it. Okay, so you can you can combine multiple red blocks, essentially. I wonder what happens when you unbend one, then. Like, if, if I link up this one, this one, and whichever one is over here... Ah! I can try that right now. Like so, and then this one as well. What if I unbend now? Is it just gonna unbend everything? Only the latest one. Okay. I'm gonna unbend this as well. I guess we need to do that right now. Yeah, so now we unbend it. Do we? Yeah. Yeah. 
And now we probably bend all of them together. Uh, maybe not. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe it's like one at a time. So maybe I do... This to begin with? No. Huh. Yeah, what do I do? Can, can I... Oh, I see! Yeah, I can like... You can even squash red blocks together. So you could... Wait, hold on. So I don't even need to bend these two at all. I can ignore this one and just bend these two. Yeah, okay. All right. Interesting. No secret here. Log entry number seven. Sometimes to go up, I had to go down. And vice versa. Cool. Huh. Maybe we'll do like one more level and then call it there for a first episode. First look. Ah, I can jump down here. No fall damage. Good to see. But I didn't really need to go. Ah, yeah, that doesn't work. Didn't really need to uh, jump down at all. I see. Oh, I can just like drop down and win right now? That's a bit odd. I guess it's just there to like show you the concept of verticality. But things can go up and down. Magical. All right. Well, that was super short. Let's do one more. Log entry number eight. Distances were deceiving. What seemed to me the farthest was in fact one step away. And here we go. Wait, so what's what's with the distances being deceiving? Oh. Ah, of course. So I have to go all the way over there in order to link this one up to this one. That's the challenge here. Oh, okay. So jump. Oh, maybe I had to jump down on the previous one because it wouldn't have allowed me to stay where I was. Okay. And then we go over here. Yeah. And now, link this one up all the way over here. I see. What's this about, though? So far, no, like, no secret level entrances, no pickups, no anything, collectibles, whatever. Log entry number nine. At last, a familiar one. Locked doors. For every lock, I knew there was a key around. All right. Press any key to continue. So there we go. Is this a lock? I guess so. We will find out in the next episode. I'm interested. This was just a very abrupt first look. I've had this game for a long time. Just decided to check it out because I do love me my first person platformers, as I've said. And yeah, seems cool. Runs well, looks good, controls adequately has an idle animation, everything could ever want. So we'll just leave it there for today. Hope you enjoyed the episode, thank you for watching, and let's explore more of this game called Fabric next time. Bye-bye!